What's going on, everybody? Hey, you guys. Welcome back to East Africa with Willie and Rachel. We are super excited to be sitting with you again. Praise God. Amen. So today we're continuing to talk about what to do when you don't know what to do, what yeah. to do when you feel pressure, what to do when your back's against the wall, yep. and how do you handle yourself? What's some practical things you can put into practice that will help you not just suffice, not just right. medicate yourself. Yeah. That's what movies and all this other kind Being of stuff that happens. And, yeah, yes, you just kind of self-medicate. That's not what we're talking about. We're talking about actually being able to get things in order, yeah. put things into practice mm -hmm. where you can look behind you mm -hmm. and say, wow, I overcame that thing. Yeah. Like God helped me through that. And then you start doing that more and more. Yeah. And because this life brings pressure and we, need, sure to, we need to know how to Put things into practice and see the release the power of God in the situation. And you know, I really have enjoyed this teaching because we really faced and have faced a lot of pressure pressure yes. situations. Now I believe almost everybody has. Mm -hmm. Um but some more than others. We definitely have had our fair share mm -hmm. in the early years, especially. And definitely some were probably self-inflicted yeah. a little bit. But um so many people face challenges and in a world today where everything We've talked about this so much is so filtered and fake mm -hmm. it appears that so many people are not having pressure situations yeah but behind the filter yeah most people are struggling that does that could be financially that could be struggling in their marriage mm -hmm. i mean there's literally so many things so that's why i think this is such a precious teaching this and there's so many things yeah. that god has shown us mm -hmm. in how to move forward and really what does what it what are those actual practical steps that you can for sure take and the <clears throat> excuse me mm -hmm. take and the things that we have applied in our own life and seen you know victory or mm -hmm. seen those things kind of diminish yeah amen and um it's been really incredible amen listen we talked last teaching about how we have to get things in proper order mm -hmm. like do not allow a pressure situation to lie to you and this is what this yeah. is what happens it's not the pressure lying to you, but it's our own thoughts yeah. that begin to filter, cipher, mm. and then speak to yeah. us at times, okay? And I'm talking about like, you're having financial issues or you're having health issues or you're having something and then you start seeing yeah. yourself fail and you start hearing these thoughts. Right. We talked about in John 14, where Jesus said, let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my Father's house are many mansions. Right. If it were not so, I would have told you, I go to prepare a place for you. And talking about heaven. Mm -hmm. And the fact that to think about heaven and to put things in its proper place is yeah. not putting off problems. That's not what we're talking about. Right. We're not talking about, oh, in the sweet by and by and doing nothing in this life. No, no, no. We're talking about just relaxing for a minute and putting putting whatever yeah. pressure situation it is in its proper place and say no 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 you yes. don't speak to me yes. yeah. in the name of Jesus and then just just think and imagine you have to use mm -hmm. meditation gets a bad name because of false religions but right. meditation is extremely biblical and you for instance you can if you're thinking of a problem pressure in itself yeah. is meditation right you are just meditating Pondering on the problem and thinking yes. and mulling over exactly. it exactly and all those words are biblical terms and so we're talking about just doing that to the word so if you would yeah. just take mm. this and think about that that you are secure yeah like you know the end from the beginning. You know yes. you are secure in Christ. You know that he loves you. You know that there is a place waiting for you. Yeah. And what it does, it takes problems and starts to shrink them and shrink them and shrink them and shrink them. And the problem's still there. You yeah. still want to release the power of God into that situation yeah. and see victory. However, it takes that problem and instead of it being this huge yeah. thing, right? And if you take a toothpick, and if you get that close enough to your eye, it looks like a mountain. Oh, and I draw my pen. But you know what? Gonna, if, yeah. if you yeah, begin yes. to get to get that where it goes, it gets smaller it and does. smaller. Yep. I remember when Asher, our middle son, he was, I believe he was around one and a half. Mm -hmm. He developed this cough. If you remember this. I yeah. remember. And it was violent. Mm -hmm. The cough. And I mean, it was like he coughed for days and then days turned into weeks. And inside these, these weeks, probably I would say about seven weeks that it was really bad, somewhere in there. We went from, you know, not good to worse to bad to where like we couldn't even take him out in public. And it was literally, he was coughing 
like pretty much 24 hours a day like and he would yeah. sleep coughing and he got like he his, had to have the crib was tented yeah with like a diffuser with eucalyptus yeah stuff. we were doing what we could yeah. to try to help um but there was like no like yeah we, we were getting feeling more and more pressure as yeah. this built up to where um it was just not a good situation and one night he was coughing and i love my son right and i remember him he was just <clears throat> and his eyes were bloodshot yeah. and he'd try to fall asleep and wake up and i went into this we had a, it was like a little bedroom thing i went in there and i was praying and i was just like lord like i don't want anything to happen to my son. I feel like he's not doing good at all. And the Lord spoke to me and said, Willie, what, I, right? I was thinking of death. I was like, Lord, I don't want to. He's like, Willie, what happens if he dies? Mm -hmm. And I thought to myself, and the first thing that came out of my mouth was he goes to heaven. Mm -hmm. And then I thought about the fact that First Peter 2 Peter 2.24 says, by whose stripes he, we, we were, he, you were healed. And I knew, I know that God desires healing. God does not put sickness on us. God does not allow sickness. God does not want sickness on us. Jesus never refused healing, not one time, praise God. And so I know that. But when I thought about that, I thought about like, why am I sitting here mm -hmm. pondering some type of death thoughts as if that would even be the end anyways it's not but as i just got that fear out and i took about three minutes is all it took just pondering the fact that even if the worst happened he goes to heaven and lives forever in the presence of the lord and i will see him again it, it took like less than than four minutes and I was in faith because that fear removed. Yeah. As soon as that fear removed, that like, oh my gosh, the end is, no, 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 no. Put it in its proper place. And all, I had the faith of yeah. God rise up on the inside of me and I started yeah. speaking to that mountain. I got my eyes off of the problem and got my eyes on the promise and then that directed me yeah. to start speaking to that problem. Mm -hmm. And I, I mean, I had so much faith flowing through me. And within about 72 hours, he really stopped coughing that night, but it was about a three day period before it was completely gone. It was gone. And right. we really never dealt with that. I think about a few months later, he had a little bit of a thing, but we stood in faith again. It was never, never that right. bad. And to this day, it's never happened really again. Mm -hmm. um, it's been years, years. He's 10 now. And yeah. so there, there's no problem. No. Breathing perfect. And all that happened, all that faith was released by simply putting things in its proper place. Right. Seeing the fact that putting things where they go and it makes these huge problems yeah. and this sorrow and everything come down mm -hmm. to where it can be handled. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. Praise Amen. God. Yeah, it's I mean, awesome. To be able to release faith is what we're looking for. We want to see change, but we can't see that change by glorifying and magnifying problems bigger than they are. And I love that the word tells us that do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by yeah. the renewing of your Amen. mind. We talked about this the other night. Mm -hmm. And the more you meditate on something, mm -hmm. you're going to be, that's what is yeah. conforming or transforming your mind. Because you can meditate on the wrong things. You can mm -hmm. sit and meditate on the problem. Mm -hmm. You're going to be conformed to that worldly thing. Yeah. But the more that you will be transformed by the renewing of your mind, the more you put the things in order, the more you saw, you know, Asher's going to heaven. Yep. No matter what, we win no matter mm -hmm. what. Death will never win. Yep. Death will never have a hold on us. Mm. The more that you pondered that, you were transformed. Yeah by the renewing of your mind and faith flowed from that place mm -hmm. for us to be able to speak to that and overcome that because ultimately that is what God has for all of us. We are transformed by the renewing of our mind and we, if we want that, we have to put in order the things that are supposed to be in Amen. order. We're supposed to focus and meditate and ponder on the things that we're supposed to ponder Hallelujah. on Hallelujah. or else the opposite of that is being yeah, conformed to exactly. this world. You're going you're gonna to meditate on something. Yes. Let it be the truth. Yeah and allow problems to be where they're supposed to be. Amen. That's Amen. right. All right. Shrunk guys, hey, down. Little. Shrunk small. Down. Yes. You're a victor. Praise yes. God. Send us your prayer requests on WhatsApp or Facebook Messenger, mm -hmm. you guys, and we'll see you next time.